Hey everyone, Cressa here, and the Epcot Festival of the Arts is in full swing for 2023. And in this video, I'm going to go over everything there is to see and do during this awesome event and why you won't want to miss it, especially if you're an art lover. Oh, and I also wanted to celebrate that during the filming of this video, we also hit 10,000 subscribers. And I wanted to celebrate by doing our very first giveaway. So stick around to the end of this video to get all of the details. So let's get into it. The Epcot International Festival of the Arts is back for its sixth year at Epcot. The Festival of the Arts celebrates all forms of art, including culinary, visual, and performing arts. And this year, there are 16 food studios, 25 art markets where you can even meet the artists themselves, and a ton of activities and entertainment to experience. When you first walk in, you'll want to grab a festival passport. You'll need this to complete the food stroll if you choose to do that, and it also contains all of the information that you'll need for the festival. For the art festival, the food stroll is called the Wonderful Walk of Colorful Cuisine, where you can take a Technicolor tour around Epcot to sample a variety of vibrant dishes. The items are all listed in the back of the festival passport, and you'll receive a stamp when you purchase each one. There's seven total items to try, but you only need five of them to complete the stroll and receive your prize. Also, if you want to do the festival scavenger hunt, you'll want to pick up a scavenger hunt map for $9.99. We always grab our scavenger hunt map from Gateway Gifts directly underneath Spaceship Earth when we walk in. The Figment Scavenger Hunt is a really fun way to keep the kids and adults alike entertained as you make your way around the World Showcase. And you don't even need to finish to get your prize. For the scavenger hunt, you'll be looking for hidden framed artworks in each country. And these iconic works of art have been reimagined to include Figment. So you'll just look for the Figment themed picture frame with his face on the bottom, and you'll need to explore the entire country pavilion, both inside and out to find some. And I have to admit, a few of them were a little tricky. There is one hidden in each one of the countries around the world showcase. And when you find all 11, you can turn your map in at Disney Traders and Port of Entry or World Traveler at the International Gateway to receive a choice of one of four different figurines that you can paint yourself. You have a choice of Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, and Figment, and I couldn't resist choosing Minnie for my prize. Most of the food studios and art markets for the Festival of the Arts is located in the World Showcase area, with the exception of a few that can be found around Test Track and the Creation Shop. There's also the Promenade Fine Arts Market that's located in front of Creation Shop, which is a really fun little market to explore. Here, you'll find intricate coffee tables themed with different Disney characters, sculptures of Disney characters, and other really fun works of art. In front of Test Track this year is the all-new food studio, Majur. This studio offers modern morsels from land and sea that is appetizingly abstracted. We had to try all four of the new items here. And the first one was the compressed watermelon tataki with pickled watermelon rind, yuzu pearls, watermelon foam, and wasabi. The next one was my absolute favorite dish of the entire festival, and that's the angry crab which is a whole crispy soft shell crab with green papaya salad, mango sriracha fluid gel, coconut lime foam with pomegranate and mango crush pearls. And if you love a soft shell crab, you'll definitely want to pick up this dish. Next is the pan seared scallops with vanilla butternut squash puree, brown butter cauliflower puree, and lime foam. The pan-seared scallops was one of the first food stroll items that we came across to get our very first stamp. The fourth and last new item at Majerm is the Tropics. The Tropics is a collection of lilikoi mousse, guava cake, coconut creme mou, compressed pineapples, and mango gel. And if you love tart and citrusy flavors, you'll definitely want to pick this up. 
Next to Modern is the Craftsman Courtyards Food Studio, which offers cuisine that is constructed with the natural aesthetics of the arts and crafts movement. After exploring the area next to Test Track, you'll walk across the bridge to the World Showcase, and here you'll find activities all along the bridge. First, there's the expression section, which is a paint by number mural that you can participate in for free. So what you do is you'll stop by this booth to grab your paint. Then you'll get in line and get an assigned section where you can paint two squares per person. There's a few different murals that they alternate in between, and the one they had during opening weekend was an Andy Warhol styled multicolored figments. So when you're done, you'll collect this free bookmark with a completed mural on it so you can see what it will look like. Also on the bridge are three step-in photo frames where you can step into iconic works of art for a photo opportunity. There are nine total photo frames throughout the World Showcase, and I'll stop by a few of them to show you what they look like. The first one here is the Luncheon of the Boning Party by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, where I got to be the life of the party. Across the way was also amazing chalk art galleries that ran all along the side of the bridge. You can watch some of these talented artists as they create these amazing works of art. There's also a piece here that plays with perspective that I know is going to be really cool when it's finished. And if your kids get inspired while they're looking at this and want to get in on the chalk art, there's also a section just for kids where they can grab some chalk art themselves and try their hand at creating some masterpieces. And I have to say, there is some pretty impressive ones here, like this awesome Spider-Man. And speaking of chalk art, there is a chalk full of character where there's chalk art drawings of Disney characters that can be found all throughout the World Showcase. I was able to find quite a few along the way, including this one of Sorcerer Mickey with the reverse waterfall near Journey into the Imagination. But I'll also point out a few more that I was able to find as I walked around the World Showcase. If you were able to find any others, let me know which ones and where you found them in the comments below. Right next to the bridge heading to the World Showcase is the Odyssey Building. And here is where you'll find Figment's Inspiration Station Food Studio, as well as a festival market. And this is also where you can purchase a Figment popcorn bucket. If you followed the art festival last year, then you know that this popcorn bucket was a big hit. And the line to purchase one wrapped all around the lake, and people waited for up to eight hours to buy one. So thankfully, this year, they fixed all of that by selling these through mobile orders. So all you have to do is buy one through the app and come by and pick one up during your assigned time window. It's so much easier this time around and I was excited to grab one. The food studio here is also brand new. And here we picked up the rainbow cake topped with freeze dried Skittle candies. That was one of my favorite desserts of the festival. We also picked up our second food stroll item, the Pop-Tart, which is a sugar cookie with a blueberry filling, made to look like the nostalgic breakfast item, the Pop-Tart. Once you finish in the Odyssey building, you'll enter the port of entry area. And in this waterfront area is the World Showcase Plaza stage, where several different performances happen all throughout the day. The schedule and show times can be found on the sign in front of the stage, and the performances include everything from art defying gravity, where you can see these thrilling acts of strength, agility, grace, and balance with these amazing acrobats. There is also a visual art and performance, which is one of my favorites every year, where you'll get to watch the artist Trevor Carlton create a colorful Disney character with a very energetic performance as he paints and dances all along to music.
There's also talented musicians that will also take the stage all throughout the day. During our visit, we got to enjoy the amazing work of the guitarist Nicholas Marks, who seems to be a very favorite staple at Disney as we've seen him perform in several festivals and in Disney Springs. After enjoying the entertainment at the port of entry, we made our way around the world clockwise towards Mexico. In Mexico is the El Artista Hambriento Food Studio that offers classic and a colorful Mexican fare. During our search for figment, we found these colorful chalk pictures of the dog Dante from the movie Coco on the side of the pyramid. You can also step into this photo frame that is a homage to Frida Kahlo. And it even gives you that iconic Frida Kahlo unibrow. Next, we headed to Norway, where I was able to find these adorable drawings of the little snowmen from Frozen. And then afterwards, we headed over to China, where you'll find your next food studio that you'll come across, the Painted Panda. And the Painted Panda offers cuisine inspired by magnificent Chinese art. After China, you'll pass up the Refreshment Outpost where you can try plant-based bratwurst and a jumbo artist palette cookie, which looked delicious. After the Refreshment Outpost, you'll head over to Germany where you'll find the Pastoral Palette. Here, they serve dishes inspired by timeless Bavarian folk art. Right after Germany is the beautiful Italy Pavilion, where you'll find the L'Art di Mangiare Food Studio, which serves colorful Baroque cuisine. We also found drawings of Luca and Alberto here from the Pixar movie Luca. Once you pass Italy, you will come into the American Adventure. And in the American Adventure is the Artist Table Food Studio, which features roasted dishes and creative beverages. And here I had to pick up the Hummingbird Cake, which is a new item this year and is a banana cake with pineapple, coconut, pecans, and cream cheese frosting with a banana sorbet. And I am a big fan of hummingbird cake, so I could not resist getting this one. And it was absolutely delicious. Right next to the artist table is the funnel cake stand, which during the art festival is offering a special mocha funnel cake. And while you're in the area, you'll want to make sure that you catch a couple of very special events that are located at the American Garden Theater. During the day, you can participate in the Animation Academy, where you'll get to meet a real Disney animation artist who will walk you through how to draw a Disney character. When you enter, you'll be given a sheet of paper, a pencil, and a clipboard, and the artist will walk you through step-by-step -step throughout the entire process. And while we were there, we got to draw Donald Duck. If you stay until the evening, you'll get to see the Disney Broadway concert series here at American Garden Theater. During this show, real life Broadway stars will perform a few hits from famous Disney Broadway shows, as well as a few hits that they're known for. During our visit, we got to see Kara Lindsay from Newsies, as well as Kevin Massey, who plays the starring role in Tarzan. Once you pass the American Adventure, you'll come across the Japan Pavilion. And here you'll find the Joshiki Food Studio. The Joshiki Food Studio features dishes that contain the five colors of Japanese cuisine. In Japan, the five elemental colors are red, green, yellow, white, and black. The chefs here try to include all five of these colors in a single meal, which serves to achieve a balance of nutritional benefits. 
And while we were exploring the pavilion trying to find the hidden figment artwork, we came across a drawing of the sushi chef from Monsters Inc, which was really fun to see. When we finished in Japan, we made our way over to the Morocco Pavilion, where I was able to find this cute drawing of Abu trying to steal this pot. And also in this pavilion is where you'll find the Tangerine Cafe Flavors of Medina that offers a tapestry of North African flavors fresh from Morocco. Once you pass Morocco, right in between Morocco and France is Vibrante and Vivido, the Encanto Cochina Food Studio, which serves authentic Colombian cuisine inspired by the Disney animated film Encanto. Here, you can get the chorizo and potato empanada with tamarack aioli and annatto aioli. We got this food item during last year's food stroll, and it's here again for this year's event. Once in France, you'll find the L'Art de la Cuisine Francaise Food Studio, which offers spectacular French cuisine. After enjoying all of the cuisine in France, you'll head over the bridge into the United Kingdom, where we were able to find chalk art like this Peter Pan silhouette, as well as these hidden squirrels in the back garden area, and characters from the animated Robin Hood film. After the UK, we walked into the beautiful Canada Pavilion, where I was able to find a drawing of the panda from Turning Red, and the gourmet landscapes food studio that serves stunning dishes composed with the finest ingredients from the land. Here, you'll find another food stroll item, the blood orange braised beet tartare, which is a mustard vinaigrette pickled clamshell mushrooms, and golden beets. It may not seem very special, but it ended up being one of my favorite dishes of the festival. Once you finish with Canada, you'll make your way back over to the port of entry area, where you'll find the last three food studios. First is Pop Eats, where you'll encounter mouth-watering masterpieces inspired by pop art of the 20th century. This is where we picked up the almond frangipan cake, which was one of the last items that was needed for our food stroll. The frangipan cake is layered with raspberry jam and topped with Belgian chocolate. Also in the port of entry area is the deconstructed dish. And at the deconstructed dish, you'll find classic dishes fragmented and presented as you've never seen them before. And this is where you'll be able to pick up the deconstructed key lime pie, which is also a part of this year's food stroll. This delicious key lime pie is a flexible key lime curd, key lime mousse, graham cracker cake, and served with a side of meringue. And we actually picked up this dish during last year's event, and I can tell you it was delicious and one of my favorites of the food festival. The last studio in the port of entry area is Deco Delights. Here at Deco Delights, you'll find sweet treats that are inspired by everything from the Gilded Jazz Age to the pastels of Miami Beach. This is where we picked up our very last food stroll item, which was the orange mousse with lemon cake. And this is an amazing orange mousse, which is served with lemon cake and delicious raspberry meringues. And since this was also where we completed our food stroll, we were also able to pick up our redemption prize, which is this delicious sugar cookie in the shape of an artist palette, in addition to this berry smoothie and an adorable plastic collector's cup. And speaking of Collector's Cup, if you're looking for even more mementos of your time at Epcot's International Festival of the Arts, there is quite a bit of new merch that's available in the festival booth spread throughout the World Showcase, as well as a creation shop located near the front of the park. During this year, you can find everything from unique figment chalk art inspired prints, a new spirit jersey, figment mug, pins, and a new munchkin scented plush. And if you end up staying until the evening, 
you'll want to make sure that you catch the brand new Beacon of Magic that celebrates everyone's favorite purple dragon, Figment. This new Technicolor show features music that will spark your imagination with amazing dazzling lights. And while you're in the area, if you have a Disney photo pass, you'll also want to catch the photographers at the front of the park for special photo pass photos specific for the art festival. My favorite is always the Tiny World one that features Spaceship Earth. Oh, and I've got another amazing special announcement. Also, during the making of this video, we also got our very first Patreon. So a really big shout out to the amazing Lachey Smith. Lachey has been a huge supporter of my channel from the very beginning, and I can't thank you enough for your support in helping me create future content for this channel. You'll now be able to find Lachey's name in the description of our future videos as a Patreon sponsor. And if you would like to join Lachey in helping us support future content for this channel, you can find us on both Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee. Links for everything are in the description below. So thanks again Lachey for being an amazing person and an awesome supporter of this channel. We couldn't thank you enough. And now for our other celebration, we just hit 10,000 subscribers. And since it also landed during the filming of our Epcot Festival of the Arts video, we're celebrating by giving away one of the very sought after Figment popcorn buckets. So if you would like a chance to win one of these adorable buckets, you want to head down to the description to find the link to enter. There are a few different ways to enter for up to three entries per person, and we'll pick the winner on February 1st. If you're spending even more time at Epcot and want to know what all there is to see and do, then you'll want to check out my absolute guide to Epcot that just popped up on the screen. In this video, I'll walk you through every single one of the attractions to help you plan your day. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.